Well, it's September, which means it's time for Oktoberfest beers. No, not October. Oktoberfest. Hey, this is Matthew, and I am drinking my first Oktoberfest beer of the season. I don't know if I'll get around to a whole head-to-head -head this year, like I've done the past few years. Um, in fact, it was two years ago that the Oktoberfest, like, head-to-heads were the first beer videos that I reviewed and started this whole shebang. And, um... I know I have had Sierra Nevada's Oktoberfest Fest beer before. I considered it an okay beer. I don't know that it ranked very high in the comparison. Um, I'd have to go back and rewatch my videos to see, which is probably a worthwhile endeavor. Um, this year, it is brewed in collaboration with Carevider Brewery. Apologies, I am likely butchering that pronunciation. K-A-K-E-H-R-W-I-E-D-E-R. Carevider, I guess. October, uh, Sierra Nevada typically partners with what appears to be a German brewery each year for their um, Oktoberfest beers. I think that's pretty cool that they, you know, they, they're a very respected brewery uh, internationally. They're a Northern California brewery. Um, and hey, partnering with a brewery that is going to kind of hold them to the, the, the real spirit of the beer, good on them. And so I really respect them for that. I've felt, I believe in the past, that Sierra Nevada tends to perhaps hop their Oktoberfest beers, even with those partnerships. They tend to hop them a little bit too much for my personal liking. I mean, I like hops. I have come to admit that I do enjoy IPAs. And in particular, I enjoy West Coast IPAs with their more bitter, astringent, dry, pine needle kind of flavors. Um, but there's a time and a place for them. And typically with my Oktoberfest beers or my Fest beers, I expect them to be, um, or I like them. I generally like them to be more to the sweet, malty, rich, uh, bread, kind of really, really nice traditional styles um, that are typical. Just a quick reminder or review, if you haven't watched some of my over other Fest Beer videos or aren't aware of what a Fest Beer is. So traditionally Oktoberfest beers were Märzens or Martzens, um, which is a beer that is first brewed in March and then it is lagered over the summer and then it's the kegs are tapped in September for harvest parties, and then there was the whole celebration of some German dukes uh, or kings, emperor, whatever, uh, daughter's wedding, and they made it a whole big thing. But those beers were typically very, very, well, relatively high alcohol. And so drinking a whole lot of it wasn't a great idea, as fun as it may have been at the time. So instead, a lighter version of the Meritzen was developed, and that is the Fest beer. You will typically expect a Fest beer to be um, you know, 4 to 6% maybe in the U.S., and in Germany it's probably even less, or definitely to the low end of that. This one is 6%, so it is firmly at the top end of what you'd expect a traditional Fest beer to be. Fest beers are meant to be drunk in quantity uh, during the Oktoberfest parties without necessarily getting falling down drunk. Yes, super excited and sociable and fun party drunk, not falling down drunk, right? That's the goal. Anyways, let's see how uh, Sierra Nevada uh, did this year. Hmm, sweet apples, like super ripe apples. Um, and a really nice breadiness, but but like a sweet breadiness. Like this bread is, it's um, it's a sweet bread, like a really soft, like challah bread kind of thing. Yeah, that kind of bread. There's an earthy hoppiness, just kind of adding some nice aromatics there. And uh, yeah, it smells it smells pretty good. It smells very inviting. Let's see how it tastes. It tastes good. 
it tastes tasty. Um, so there's this really nice, mellow, malty, uh, grainy sweetness that starts. And then there's this kind of low, earthy bitterness that builds. And and then the, the malty sweetness is gone. And you're left with this nice, really pleasant, earthy bitterness. Um, has a decently long tail. And then it's gone. So that was what? 10 seconds? That's pretty good. That's a nice journey. Um, this is really pleasant. It's moderate. It's mellow. Um, it, it's got enough bitterness to be interesting. It's not a one-note wonder. Uh, the, the flavors are playing well, play, playing well together. It feels really broad and um, like, like it's a... I've said this before, but sometimes I relate flavors and sounds to shapes. Uh, it, it tastes like a circle, like it, it's a, it's a well-rounded flavor. It's probably how I should describe that. Yeah, that's good stuff. I like that. I like that quite a bit. Um, other more traditional fest beers, I think, are going to be significantly less hopped, like I commented earlier. It is what it is. If I were doing a head-to-head, -head, uh, I don't know that this would rank particularly high, but it's not an unpleasant beer. And if hops are your thing, this is a really nice, like it's going to remind you of maybe a, a half of a double IPA, which is not an IPA, um, with, you know, double and imperial IPAs being sweeter in general and, and smoother. Uh, so this is, uh, this is that kind of dialed back. It's got the sweetness. Uh, but it's a malt sweetness, not an alcohol sweetness. And then it's got this nice earthy hop that just kind of builds and lingers. And it's just playing along there, pleasant. It's just there. It's kind of your companion for the drink. And it works really well. I like that. That's good stuff. Um, so I guess that that might kind of point out that even in my comparisons, there's very few beers that are actively bad. There's... There's beers that I prefer and beers that I don't prefer. And a lot of that is also contextual. Up, up against, say, maybe an, an Anger or uh, um, some of the other really, like, top-notch, full-on German Fest beers, this is not going to be my preference. But here, on a fall evening, it's quite nice. The sweetness, the maltiness works really well for the cooler evenings. The hoppiness... You know, I, I appreciate that interesting note here in this beer. And they've done a good job of it. So I'm going to drink more of it. <laughs> Anyways, this is me, Matthew, and I have been drinking and enjoying Oktoberfest Fest Beer by Sierra Nevada in collaboration with Care Viter Brewery. And I'll catch y'all on the flip side.